All right, so let me repeat once again. You probably want to do this on a bandsaw, but if you don't have one, See the way I'm angling it and taking off that corner, take off that corner, then take off the middle. And I'm also slicing it and I have it skewed. here it's really kind of nuts leave it a little bit big and I can fix it with the spoke shape if I want. over here. Got to look real close where my eyes are not too good looking too. So I, I carve on a on a riser block, so I don't have to bend over so far. It, it took me a long time to figure out that you could do that, and then I saw the carvers do it all the time. So all I'd have to have done is talk to one of them to know that you get it up off the bench so you don't hurt your back. So anyway, I'm gonna draw out the pattern here, and uh, I'm gonna take off my hat so you can, you can see it better. Uh, so I got a piece of carbon paper, just set it down, try to match up the pattern here best possible way. I guess that might, that might work right there. Okay, straighten that a little bit, and okay, 
now just do, uh, let's see what I'll start with. Do some cuts like this. Need another clamp. And then the ear's not sitting flat right there, so because the whole thing's kind of curved. I did a few wedges, put it underneath it. They'll work loose, I'll keep popping them in there. Maybe that'll do it. I just match up to the curve and I don't try to follow the line exactly. I let the, the chisel determine what the line is going to be. So for those of you that have some of these chisels, that's a number five sweep, probably about three quarters of an inch wide. I usually have to change about right there, it's a seven sweep. Now I got to connect an eight, which ends it with that seven, and I sort of jump all the way over to the end and position that this one on there about right like that, I guess. Jump back to the seven and see if it works, and it doesn't doesn't connect just perfect, so I'll kind of cheat it a little bit with the corner there we go okay now I'm going to scoop out what's out around it but I got to have a line to start at first so I'll Got a little close right there. I don't like that. I'd like to have a little bit more room there, but I don't have it, so that's what it's going to be. Come back up here. I'll leave a little flap between the score line and where I'm going to be carving. Removing the material. So I start with a, a seven sweep and start taking out some material. I start right here, no reason at all. You see, I've going straight down and scooping like this so you get this nice depth in the ear and for those of you who are carvers I'm not that's about all I do I don't do too much carving okay that's about as far as I can go that way You don't want to slip. 
you'll take that off and that's the end of it. Now I'll go at it again. A little bit deeper. You don't want to hit it uh, well, fire. You don't want to hit it too hard, especially right up right up here, because that bevel will push it forward and you'll snap that edge off right there. I end up with a little undercut there. Uh, I didn't start out trying to get an undercut there. It just happened that my method produced one and I liked it. So whatever I do makes it end up like that. Where, <clears throat> that's where it doesn't fit the sweep of the chisel real well. So. Now I come back with the flattest chisel I can to try to make it as smooth as possible. So right here is a, is a number three sweep. So I'll go back and fill, try to take a few little, and these are my finished cuts, so this is what, this is what appears in the chair, I don't, I don't like to go back in and scrape it or sand it or, I like the sound of that weed eater in the background here. So once again I'm going straight down and then turning it and you get a much, you can see in here it almost flattens out down in there in the bottom. Um, well, I'll go all the way around and I'll come back and it's about the end with the five. I'll have to get the seven to go in right there. Few light cuts to take out some of those, lighten up those facets a little bit in there. So there it is, it's done. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit of trash right there. Uh, I, I don't particularly care for it. I, I don't know what I did in matching up the pattern with matching up that. I got patterns all over the place. Sometimes I might grab the wrong one. This is a little thinner than what I would like for it to look good. I mean, all in all, the, the, the loop's fine. It just gets a tad bit thin right there. And uh, uh, so, anyway, well, so now carve the other one just like it, only opposite. And. Uh, uh, then I'll, uh, so I'll do that, and then I'll move on to doing the rest of the shaping on the comb on the shaving horse.